in. My name is Daniel, and um, I'm, I'm actually um, living in Vegas, but the power is with the neighbor in this case, and I'd like to uh, uh, give you guys a summary of what's going on. Hopefully you guys are really interested in one. It's around 10 o'clock now on February 1st of 2021, and I'm doing this as part of my book series that I'm very excited about. If you have not, please subscribe me to my channel um, and give me a thumbs up. Please, please, please. I really appreciate it. And the work I'm doing here is, is um, hopefully will be valuable to many people in the near future to come. So so let's um, so let's start here. And um, this book is about it's called The Power Is Within You. And it's all about loving yourself, right? And not disliking or beating yourself up. So really, it's about stopping, uh, not blaming or criticizing yourself, and rather just accepting who you are. So it involves affirmations. So knowing that you deserve the best, knowing that all is well, knowing that you're lovable, knowing that you deserve all the best. And and because some people hold on patterns of thoughts and behaviors that don't really serve anybody, right? But um, that's why it's important to love yourself compassionately because if you want to replace those negative thinking styles with love, so it's kind of like a replacement thing. Um, so some people have negative beliefs or negative thought patterns from their childhood, right? The way they were raised. And so that's why it's important to not hold on to these negative thinking patterns and rather release them or replace them with um, self-love. So, like, just to review, loving yourself, not beating yourself up, accepting who you are, and um, loving yourself by replacing those negative thought patterns, instead refusing to beat yourself. And so, some of the key themes that I've learned from this book, um, there were actually seven that I took away. That, um, the first one, is to trust life because life already supplies you everything that you need for example your breath which we take for granted and we don't take for granted any other any other things which are not nearly as important as our breath we kind of just do them like the breath is just like like we can't live without it we take it for granted so really trust life because it already gives us what we need aka our, our breath the second point is to plant a new seed in the new to create a new future, right? So essentially sharing your thoughts about the present and how present thinking is very important to shape our future. Um, and then the next one is to not scare ourselves um, and make things worse than they are, which sometimes happen just like criticism, right? We should not scare ourselves too because that has a very negative toll on our physical health if we've always lived in a, in a fearful state. So that is very important as well. Then number four is to ask, will this make me feel um, better about myself? And you only want to let positive emotions um, come in, right? Um, because um, any negative seed um, will affect our behaviors and it's probably going to lead to bad habits in the future. So we want to think positively. Number five, which is pretty interesting, is about aging and how aging and growing older is actually not as scary as it seems. It's actually a wonderful thing because you get to pass through all of the stages of life. And um, so that's what's beautiful about it. And you also get to experience all the stages of life. So you get to live through all those experiences. On the same note, um, our beliefs are very important. So if you think 35 is middle-aged, then that can accelerate the aging process because our thoughts affect reality, right? Things come into, what we think comes into fruition. And so it's very important to have positive beliefs about it as well. Number six, um, states if there's anger or resentment which is anger buried in or depression which is anger buried inward um, then it's very important to release those to become free of the past and instead let love in to replace those negative emotions okay 
So what does that mean? So it means the first step is to recognize it and acknowledge these negative thoughts. And the next step involves forgiving yourself and other people as well who are involved in the situation. So forgiveness. And then stage three is the release of all those emotions. So release emotions a couple of ways that you can release all these emotions. For example, screaming in the car, doing sports or activities like jogging or digging in the garden, um, burning, a, burning a hate letter, for example, kicking a pillow or being creative and doing expressive art. You can release these negative emotions. And yeah, and it's very important to not um, blame the other person as well because people um, act to the best of their knowledge. It's how they were raised that influenced their actions. So it's also knowing that it's not other people's fault, you, you know. It's very important to not blame other people and not blame yourself. Rather, just recognize that emotion, accept it, recognize it, and forgive yourself and the people involved and try to release that emotion. Instead, let love flow in to replace, as we mentioned, to replace those negative feelings of anger. Another emotion is fear. And if you have fear, what you should really do is um, really trust that inner power that you have. Because um, if you have trust, then you have fear. As well as like deep breathing also helps in deep breathing. And the last thing for fear is actually you can project it on a movie screen that's far away from you as if it's detached from your body and that also helps. So I'm projecting it as if it's not within you. Then the last thing I'm going to talk about is about pain now. So with pain, we don't want to criticize um, ourselves, for example, for being sick. Instead, we want to trust our inner um, power and forgive ourselves and knowing that everything is well. Um, and then taking baby steps, right, um, to get better. So we can, we can do meditation, relaxation, visualization, and know that these baby steps are going to help us get where we want to get at. So it's very important if you have pain to not criticize ourselves and we really to trust ourselves and to be able to forgive um, instead of um, instead of criticizing ourselves. So knowing that we will get better, just we need to take it one step at a time. Alright, and with that we are done um, we are done this book review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did please subscribe to my channel please please go i really need to get more subscribers and make sure to put a thumbs up thank you very much and peace